have a bit of a cold, so I'm hoping my 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 voice keeps up. But uh, okay. Um, uh, well, hi, Mark. Um, uh, Red Hat is my uh, employer. Uh, I work in the the Perf Tools group. It's called. I hope still <laughs> uh, we sometimes change names uh, and I mostly work on Valgrind Alphutil system tab uh, well and, and debug stuff um, so uh, when I wrote the, the title going from binary to source uh, <laughs> uh, that's just part of what dwarf is, because if that was all there is, then you just need the debug line mapping. You take an address. Oh, that's the source um, line. But dwarf does well so much more. <laughs> um, you want to know uh, uh, which functions uh, there are, what uh, parameters there. Uh, are in the function, are there variables, uh, what is the scope of the variables, uh, what are the types of the various things. Um, so you have that and then given those variables uh, you, you want their values, uh, uh, the location descriptors which I thought worked pretty well but then <laughs> Well, you saw the last talk. <laughs> um, uh, you want to know ranges of things, so uh, uh, you have debug ranges. Um, uh, you want to know uh, how you got in a function, uh, so Dwarf provides you unwind information, uh, uh, not just to know where you came from, but also uh, to uh, 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 to get back at the 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 calling rec uh, the values of the registers when a function was called, you can inspect the values uh, at the previous frame. Um, uh, it it even provides, although most most compilers don't emit it uh, directly uh, uh, macro, so that if you have a you know the source and you want to copy paste it, um, uh, you can use the macros to expand uh, all the defines in your code. Ah. Okay, that's uh, a lot of things and uh, <laughs> Dwarf uh, has a lot of uh, design goals, um, probably a bit too many. <laughs> Uh, because they conflict with each other, of course. Um, uh, it's kind of inter interesting that the last talk was a lot about, uh, uh, well, that's defined by the ABI, because <laughs> one of the uh, design goals is that it's implementation independent. Uh, so in principle, for example, unwinding, you can do almost without any ABI uh, knowledge. The, the only thing you need to know is uh, which register number corresponds to which actual register on that architecture. So it's kind of interesting to see that it's not always uh, done. Um, but what is really nice, at least I think so, uh, now I talked to Tom and Tom said, ah, that's the worst part. Uh, no, that's not, not really true, but um, uh, uh, at various places Dwarf d uh, defines uh, vendor extensions, so it reserves a space of constants. If you use that, uh, then go ahead and add some extra operators. Uh, or, or forms, uh, and I actually think that works out quite nicely because there are a lot of GNU vendor extensions uh, that then get standardized uh, later on. Of course, the, the, the problem with the vendor extensions is you have to uh, uh, 
implement them in all the producers and all the the consumers uh, for them to actually work. Uh, and I think Tom's uh, <laughs> uh, issue is that then when they get standardized, you get to implement them all again. Uh, but but I think it 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 works uh, uh, quite well. Um, this is the, the the one of the design goals that I picked out uh, because I had to pick something to talk about. And uh, when I started <laughs> to list everything that uh, Dwarf 5 got from the various GNU extensions, it was way too many. Um, so it's it's it's, it's I I I, li I like this this. Uh, design goal that uh, uh, you you um, uh, tools that have to process dwarf don't have to know about dwarf, um, and I think that has really helped uh, uh, dwarf become uh, uh, quickly usable because it it means. Uh, you can easily compose uh, pieces of code with Dwarf and uh, combine them. Um, of course, um, uh, this bites uh, <laughs> some of the other design goals, um, uh, but uh, I, I thought there were some, some clever extensions integrated into Dwarf 5 uh, that uh, counter some of these limitations. Um, yeah, go, go look uh, there <laughs> for the whole standard and then we, we just discuss uh, a couple of new data rep representations. Um, where am I? Here. So, um, to compose dwarf from two objects which contain dwarf, uh, you you don't need that much. So this uh, you have an assembler where you can reference labels in a data section. Uh, 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 you want a way to um, reference between sections, so. For example, uh, you have the, the the info tree, which describes a variable, and it has to reference uh, where the location descriptor is in the other uh, data section. Um, and uh, uh, you you have to have addresses uh, of symbols, which you don't know yet where they will be. So uh, you you need some way. Uh, for uh, tools to do the relocation, um, and it, it it would be nice if the assembler knows how to to uh, create lab one two eight. I don't know how you pronounce it, but a a compa compact form uh, of uh, uh, writing out constants, because otherwise you have to do that by hand. It's a pain. But but that's that's it. With with, with just that, which is basically a generic assembler linker, uh, uh, you, you can combine uh, uh, Dwarf. Um, one of the nice things about that is that you uh, can combine different Dwarf producers. Uh, you, have the, you have a C file and an assembler file. You get two object files, and they get combined, even though they produce. Uh, uh, they have different dwarf producers. You don't have to know anything about the dwarf. They get combined. Um, so, to do. Does this show? Of course not. Can I? Arr. No, is it too well? It's somewhat readable. <laughs> um, um, 
it's, uh, it, I wanted to have an example where it wasn't completely trivial, but uh, uh, even this actually produces too much dwarf. <laughs> Uh, and sadly, it also doesn't show uh, size reduction because, on the other hand, it's way too small, so all the overhead just dwarfs <laughs> it. Uh, so um, uh, all the files are almost the same size, even though I wanted to show <laughs> reduction in size. Anyway, what we wh what we have is uh, a header file with a, uh, a simple struct uh, and defines a function that takes a pointer to such a struct, and we have two files. Uh, yeah, this will most likely crash and burn. Um, uh, uh, th so this defines the uh, the, the function, and you have a main that calls the FOP function. And uh, uh, the, the 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 nice thing is that uh, 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 you just create two O files uh, and you combine them together. Uh, and uh, the linker doesn't need to know about the di uh, the, the different dwarf uh, 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 what the dwarf data precisely uh, represents. So um, we just look at the debug info for this. Um, uh, so you you have the first compile unit which comes from f dot c. Uh, uh, the, the FOP function address name was resolved, uh, uh, and uh, the statement the statement list is the the, the line uh, table to use for this, and that's at offset zero. Uh, be, uh, and and uh, that's in principle all the relocation you need. In in this case. The, the matching debug line was placed uh, at the start because the first object file. Uh, but you will see for the uh, da, 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 <laughs> uh, for the second one that the statement list uh, uh, is at a, uh, uh, at the next of uh, offset and. All the linker has to do is uh, place the debug line pieces after uh, each other. Um, so, in uh, the uh, the thing you see immediately immediately here is um, uh, in this uh, in both the first and the the, the second compile unit. We just redefine that 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 structure type, um, which is a bit wasteful, especially given that one of the design goals of Dwarf was <laughs> that it doesn't shouldn't repeat itself too much. Um, but of course, this comes from uh, uh, we, we want as simple as possible tools. Uh, at, uh, 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 to combine uh, uh, dwarf and object files. Um, yeah, let's go back. Um, precisely, that's the conclusion. Yes? Um, so it's a simple concatenation, if I understood well. What happens if you compile with uh, uh, the option so that the linker eliminates the unused? functions and so on, then so what is being concatenated there? Uh, 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 the, the <laughs> uh, it's, it's, uh, and that's a nice question because the dwarf isn't touched, so if the dwarf in the original object files describes the function that you then elimin eliminate later, uh, it's still described in the. It is still described, uh, but then you can s you can go look at the supposed address 
of the object that is defined and see that at that address you don't have much. I mean, there are ways to get back on your feet, but yeah, you, you, you don't get it. You can see this is like Yeah, so, um, uh, and indeed one of the questions is if this design goal is, uh, <laughs> uh, but, well, um, so what if <laughs> we, we put all the, uh, all those types in their, their own section and what if we had tools that had a link one section uh, or a section group um, which is a good question to ask because that's of combat sections and linkers support that so uh, that's uh, 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 a nice thing then if we uh, would calculate some hash or check some over uh, the type uh, uh, that we put in in a special uh, section then we could reference those sections with the na with the has as the name um, and um, well that's basically what uh, debug types do um, uh, it was actually an extension for dwarf three integrated in dwarf uh, four um, and the only thing you then need is a way to reference a a type with uh, with a signature or hash or um, um, the the problem is that it does need a new dwarf unit header so you couldn't easily combine them uh, and uh, <coughs> um, uh, for that reason uh, uh, and others, they were put uh, put in a different section. Um, so, well, now first example. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. So, lots of dwarf. So, GC uh, implements this with debug type sections. We compile it again. Um, um, and this time we see uh, uh, the, the, the same uh, 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 debug info and let's see if I can find FWAP and FWAP uh, see um, F F is defined as a type 2D where, okay, um, where's, uh, which is, no, no, I have the wrong type. I knew I made my example too big, sorry. Um, uh, no, I have the wrong Na so, okay, the argument F is type 92. And here, it is here, it's a pointer type. And it's a boi pointer type and pointer to, oh, uh, well, That's <laughs> <type> <laughs> that one. And uh, the nice thing is then in the other compile unit, we should have the same when we pass it, yes when we uh, uh, when we create a var the variable uh, it has the same signature I'm sure that's the same one um, and now we have a debug type section with that uh, 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 with that same signature uh, and there is only one of them um, there is? Yeah, there is. So, um, that, 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 that's really nice because we need another linker 
uh, mechanism uh, uh, but now we deduplicate some information uh, for free although as my example uh, I was trying to show that it really <laughs> saves uh, memory and actually the, those object files are slightly bigger because <laughs> this one structure is too small for uh, the header uh, so <coughs> doesn't really uh, help there but uh, you uh, most programs include larger headers more types lots of types so it it actually really helps there um, the 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 problem with it is that uh, it 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 makes things uh, more complicated. There are now two die data sections. Um, it's not enabled by default in GCC, even though I believe Tom tried to make it the default. <laughs> Sorry, Tom. Uh, well, w w w w w one of the, the 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 problems was that everybody was kind of lazy, so most consumers have offsets into the data section and they just keep an offset and now they have to keep an offset and oh it could be one of those sections um, uh, I, I, I must say I am I'm uh, I'm showing the, the GNU extensions but in the Dwarf 5 what they did was extend uh, the 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 die uh, the compile unit headers so you can now combine type units and uh, uh, all kinds of different units in the same uh, debug info section so that's actually simpler um, but they also added more complexity <laughs> um, but uh, yeah so um, it's 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 still very large, and uh, it uh, if you look in the example, you see lots of relocations, references to other data sections, uh, um, and uh, the linker actually has to deal with all that. So what 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 could we? Uh, w we we need them really for str uh, for strings. It's really nice if the tools know how to merge strings because a lot of the dwarf data is strings <laughs> and you really want those to be uh, merged. And uh, of course for the address and symbols you need relocations and you use relocations for the intersection references. Uh, and um, uh, uh, what if we could do something about that and as always the answer is you add a layer of indirection <laughs> of course so uh, what we do is we we put all the addresses in their own section uh, and uh, that's basically just uh, an index and then you can use an index into the uh, the address uh, uh, debug address section and the same we do with uh, strings we add a new offsets uh, section so uh, you have uh, in, instead of having uh, to point directly to a string and asking the linker fix this up if you put the string somewhere else you have a new uh, offset uh, 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 an indirection so you can just I want string one and uh, just uh, relocate uh, the addresses of strings in that section and then finally instead of uh, for example uh, the location description descriptions saying okay my that works out. <laughs> uh, instead of saying my location descriptor uh, is uh, at uh, at uh, that offset in the debug log section or the range uh, you want the range, 
what we do is we add a uh, an index at the start of the section, uh, and we we, we uh, uh, at 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 the start of the compile unit, we just say I'm using uh, the the debug log section uh, uh, that one, and from there uh, you just again use indexes uh, to where uh, your real ranges or log lists are. Um, one of the nice things is that. Through all those, uh, uh, if we use all those indirections, we can move most of it out of the objects files. So we don't need the linker to even see uh, the uh, uh, most of the dwarf data. It, it still has to see uh, 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 the addresses, uh, um, uh, but. Uh, even uh, the strings uh, can be moved uh, away. And uh, this is kind of interesting because, uh, shall I first show how it's see? Yeah, let's, so what we do here is, um, uh, this is actually the, the var for new extension, but kind of the same. Um, and um, oh, I should have shown that it now creates both an, an O file and a DWO dwarf object file. Dwarf object file. Uh, and a dwarf object file is um, well, what you see is in the object file, you, you, uh, in, instead of a uh, a real compile unit, you have a skeleton, and uh, well, there are some addresses there, and uh, it it still has some section offsets. Uh, it has uh, the base uh, the base address uh, uh, to index into the the uh, the, the address uh, list. Um, and it has a hey another signature <laughs> and a a name uh, and well that's it <laughs> and for the other compile unit it's the same uh, well different IDs different DWO files um, and this is really nice except if you want to look at the debug info. <laughs> Uh, because now the the linker uh, doesn't have to deal with most of the dwarf data. Um, so for for elf utils, uh, read elf. I I implemented uh, uh, info plus, <laughs> which <laughs> uh, 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 picks the the uh, uh, after the skeleton it shows, it should actually show, I thought I had patched it in, it should actually show from which file it got, now it doesn't. Um, uh, and you, you, you see in the DWO file uh, it, 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 it uses indirect uh, string references uh, um, and uh, let's see um uh what okay uh well and it can f hmm. this wasn't supposed to happen um <laughs> so <laughs> this address comes from <laughs> from uh matching up with the the uh <laughs> the skeleton seeing uh, uh uh where the debug address is and then using an index into that, which <coughs> doesn't work, why not? So, uh, well. um, and uh, uh, ah, it does it every time. Too bad, sorry. Um, At least it's consistent. 
as <laughs> at least it's consistent yeah so and and this is also a small uh difference uh, uh with var5 here it uh, it still says it used a section offset it doesn't really um uh uh it, it should use a, a different form in, in TWAR5. Uh, but the idea is it uses uh, the section offset from this DWO file. Um, 10 minutes? Okay. I'll manage that. Um, so the same for, for the other skeleton, and you look up almost most of the the info in the DWO alpha. Um, there. So this is really nice for your normal edit compile debug cycle uh, because <coughs> your linker, uh, uh, the compiler has to put the debug info aside for most of it, but the linker doesn't need to, to see it, doesn't need to uh, copy it. Uh, um, we do have lots of duplications again, even for the strings now, uh, but those were already original in the .o files. Um, so dwarf consumers need to be a bit smarter. Uh, uh, they have to do some of the uh, deduplication that the linker would do. Um, it's awful for distribution <laughs> because <laughs> Some programs are links of thousands of all files, and you really don't want to ship uh, uh, thousands of DWO files. Uh, I, I'm also not sure people have used this in Anger yet, um, really with thousands of DWO files, because for LFUTILs I try to be smart, <laughs> and it's all very lazy. Uh, so we just open the DWO files and only read them when we need to. And after a couple of thousand, uh, you don't get more file descriptors. Uh, oh, hmm, that's not nice. Um, I, I assume GDB does something smarter. No? no? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, so, because that is a kind of a concern if you're not in your uh, uh, edit debug cycle, uh, uh, binutils comes with uh, the dwarf packet file packager, the dwarf packager, I don't know how it's called. Um, and it, it, it kind of does wha wha what you expect to do, it, it, it reads uh, uh, the dwarf data, it sees uh, all the references to the DWO files and adds them uh, together. Uh, it acts as a kind of mini linker because string sections make up so much that you really do want to merge all, all, the, uh, uh, all uh, the strings, but it's nice because you only have to update uh, the offset table and uh, uh, because you concatenate the data sections, uh, luckily you only have that one uh, 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 relocation against it. Um, what it does is um, it it creates a index section uh, where for every DWO it says. Uh, for the info part and the upper part, on, well, all the debug sections where it starts and ends. And in principle, that's all you need because you have all those uh, indexes uh, that you now know start at, well, zero or uh, 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 th that offset in the concatenated. Uh, uh, dwarf stuff. Um, so, um, of course, the next kind of logical step is uh, we're 
getting to a point where uh, 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 um, uh, the tools aren't simple anymore. <laughs> so why not write a tool that understands Dwarf uh, and uh, does a lot more? And that's basically what DWZ does. Uh, um, it, the nice thing about uh, uh, if you know about Dwarf and you don't mind one extra extension, which is actually also in Dwarf 5 now, uh, is uh, that you can deduplicate between debug files. Uh, 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 y you need new forms, uh, again, to, to follow string pointers or references, but now you can say, oh yeah, uh, for all those debug files, just look there. Uh, I've made one large uh, uh, string section uh, or uh, uh, info section types. Uh. Um, so, five minutes. Um, so I wanted to go in more detail, but <laughs> the number of references between uh, 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 the various uh, uh, dwarf uh, data sections is kind of daunting, uh, especially if you then combine it with split dwarf. And I thought it was kind of funny both these come from the uh, the dwarf spec that they didn't even try to have split dwarf plus supplemental files because I don't I don't think anybody does that yet, uh, but it is all specified as you should be able to have uh, 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 split types, uh, a split dwarf, and supplemental files uh, together. Um, oh, right, yeah, so I just showed that there are still bugs, but uh, I implemented most of this, at least the GNU extensions with an eye on uh, how they are also done, uh, well, done slightly differently in, uh, uh, in Dwarf 5. So, if you are writing a dwarf consumer, maybe you want to try out uh, libdw and uh, uh, write documentation for it. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it's it's it's, it's a really nice library, and every uh, every time I say, could you uh, do you want to use it? People say, okay, where's the documentation? Um, yeah, well, there's a header file. There's a header file. Yeah, no, but it's 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 a nice library. Uh, I'm I'm kind of proud that we keep AB ABI compatibility even while we uh, support newer versions of Dwarf. Uh, of course, the value is kind of you often need to use new functions to really get at some stuff. For example, with the split dwarf, everything works except that old programs not using uh, the newer functions only see the skeletons. Um, mm. um, but really, it's it's nice. Yes, did I do it right on time? Okay, <laughs> questions? No? Yes. Uh, about this two independence, you mentioned that the linker can see the debug files produced by the, assemb by the assembler without understanding them. Uh, if the assembler by default compresses the file, does the linker have to uncompress them? Uh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah uh, yes, it does uh, uh, need to, and there is actually another extension, but that's an extension to ELF. Uh, the L file format where uh, the compiler uh, compresses all the the dwarf data and then the linker expands, concatenates and compresses it again. Uh, there are people who say that's useful. So if I want just to have a compressed 
uh, final executable, I have to tell only the linker to compress the data and not the, to the intermediate tools. Oh yeah, yeah, you you, could, you can also do that. Yes, and you you can e also use Elfutils. Elfutils compress, which actually does that for you. Uh, ah, look. Ah, ah. It's not installed. Ah well. Elf compress. Sorry, ah, I don't even know my own tools. <laughs> sorry. Uh, yeah. Well. Ah, stupid small screen. Uh, so, uh, by default, it compresses all the data sections. That's what you want. Elfutils, it's great. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> yes. Uh, when you produce a release build, you don't mind too much about the compile time and link time, and you mind about if ever we have to debug that. GDB or whatever we read the development for files. But when we are developing, we want of course GDB to read fast, but we also want compile fast and link fast. Yes. So what is your recommendation about when to use which option for which kind of usage? Uh, well, for, for the compile edit debug cycle, I would recommend split dwarf, but uh, that's well, no, 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 GDB supports it, and Elfutils <coughs> now support it, and uh, sadly, tools using the Elfutils libraries need to be updated to support it, uh, but it's really easy, super easy API. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, uh, so, but for GDB, I, I would, but I'm not completely sure people have used it in Angular, and there are some questions on, okay, I, in, instead of the linker spending a lot of time, you now have GDB opening a thousand files. But... Out of time, okay.